Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and we're finally doing that second unboxing. So the other day I told you I was waiting for a package so that I could do an unboxing video. It never showed up, so I did kind of a small video. So now it's here. I got both packages that I was waiting for, so we're going to do another smaller unboxing video. Uh, interesting thing about this one is that I actually shot this video last night, and then somehow, some way, I guess it was user error, I actually, I don't know how this happened, because I don't even know how I could have possibly done it, but I recorded before the video, and then after the video, and then after the next video. So instead of recording two videos, I recorded the chunks of time in between and before and after the videos. So I had a whole bunch of audio for nothing. That's why the Walking Dead video that you guys might have seen today was just audio. I don't know how that happened. I have no clue how I possibly could have started the camera early and then stopped it before I started to film without knowing it and did that two more times at least. I have no idea. But the good thing about that is this unboxing is not really a surprise unboxing, so I don't have to like fake a reaction or anything. I was just showing you guys what I'll be reviewing. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The only downside is Zeus did make an appearance. You guys probably won't see him because he already was up here today and he's gone now. So I don't know. He might come back. I don't know. And then the other thing you missed was I used a katana. A full-on katana. And I'm not doing that for this video. Because I'm just so irritated that that happened last night. We're just going to do a straightforward unboxing. I'm going to use my trusty little knife and we're just going to go for it. Like that. Actually, I don't even need my knife. I already opened the boxes. I don't even need that. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, I got a package from NECA to go with the package I got in the last video. That was one of the ones I was waiting for. In that box, we have three of the Series 16 Predators. These are the Predators that are based on the old Kenner line, so they have these crazy, like, nick not nicknames, but versions of the Predator. So the first one we're going to look at is the Spiked Tail Predator, which is actually my favorite of the bunch. He's got all this armor and looks really cool. Almost traditional looking, but not quite so much. So I think he's kind of cool looking. So we're going to be reviewing him. Then we also have the Glow in the Dark Stalker Predator, which has kind of a traditional look, but not really. Um, here's one thing I'm not sure about, and I think you guys might be able to help me, you Predator people out there. These figures have a really pronounced, especially the lower mandible, but the whole jaw is really far forward on these guys compared to the Predators I'm familiar with. Is that because the pre the uh, Kenner figures that these are based on were like that? Or is that just the older Predator design? Or does that is there nothing that really explains that? I'm curious. I don't know if you guys can see that. See how far the mouth sticks out on that guy? That's what I'm referring to. It's just really pronounced, and you can see it on this one also, which is the uh, Ghost Predator, which is a very traditional looking one, given that it's not a traditional Predator. See how far the mouth sticks out? That's what I'm curious about. You guys can let me know about that. But these are cool because they're very 90s. They very much remind me of going to KB Toys. R.I.P. KB Toys. Miss that place. They very much remind me of that. And because these these are the kind of packages you would see on the shelf. The standard basic card with the blister and the very saturated cards. And I just miss those days. Better days for collectors. Although the toys were not anywhere near as good. The packaging was and the stores were much better. So we're going to be reviewing these. And these are also going to be in the video I'm doing. I'm going to be doing a gift guide. I might as well just let you guys know. Uh, a gift guide video, basically a geek gift guide, and it's going to include action figures and a whole a plethora of things. I have 10 categories. Some of the categories are just going to have one item in them. But some of the categories, like the action figure one, I'm going to have a variety, so that's why I needed some of these NECA ones to show. And then I'm going to have a few other things in there. So you want to check that out, especially if you're stumped on what you might want to buy somebody. I'm going to give you 10 ideas. And those ideas are going to be good ones because they're ones that I would like, and I'm a geek. I guess. I don't really like labeling myself as that, but I guess I am. Let's move on to the other box. So this box is one of the boxes from my buddy who sends me all the import figures to review, and sometimes Marvel Legends, he gets them a little bit early, he sends those. Uh, he just sends them to help out the channel, so he picks ones that he likes, that he thinks I would like, and that he thinks you guys would like to see, and he sends me a box of figures to review, and then I send them back. So I do appreciate that from him very much. And you guys should too, because a lot of the, almost all of the JoJo's figures, uh, the Kenny Kuman figures, those are all because of him. He's sending them so you guys can see them. And the first thing, and I can't act surprised, but he included this. This was on the top of the box. And it says, 
for you to keep. And so what this is, I don't know if you guys remember a little while ago, I reviewed the uh, SH Figure Arts Dragon Kid. And I said it was a really cool figure. And so he sent me one. I, I think the story is that he has a spare, and that's why he sent it. And so I do, I really appreciate it. It's awesome. Obviously, me saying it now is not the same reaction I had when I found out when I opened the box and he included this. I was a little more surprised and taken aback, but I do appreciate it. So thanks a lot. I don't, I don't know if you want me to mention your name, so I'm not going to. But uh, thanks for sending this. I really do appreciate that. We're going to set... Oops, smack the mic. I keep smacking the mic. I need to get a new review set up, but I'm still here in Ohio, so we're going to have to make do with the mic here and... Yeah, whatever. You guys know the you guys know the spiel. I got the lighting worked out, though. I think you guys like this new lighting a little bit better, so that's good. So there's a ton of stuff in here. A whole bunch. So I need to have some room on my table, but I think we're going to be able to make it work. So the first one, which I know you guys are going to be excited about, at least some of you, we have the new Naruto figure, which, well, you guys know how I feel about Naruto, but you guys also know that no matter what the subject matter is, I give the figures a fair review. So if this figure happens to be a good figure, I'm going to tell you. It looks like it uses at least some of the same parts as the original, if not all of them. Uh, well, not all of them, but at least a bunch of them. So hopefully it's better. I don't know. It does come with that cool accessory, that spinning X of death. That's what it's called. Flower. It's some kind of flower, I bet you. I have no idea what the Naruto things are called. That's why I always make up names, and that's why all the Naruto people get mad at me. But I don't care, because the normal ones find it funny. And then the uh, angry ones find it not so funny, but that's okay. This one I'm very excited to review, the uh, Ultra Act X SH Figure Arts. Uh, what's this guy's name? It's, is it just Ultraman? I guess it's just Ultraman, just an original version, that's why it says special version. But I was really excited to see when this came out to uh, see if it turned out any good. And I never got the chance to because I just can't buy everything I want to. But now we are. We get to look at it. So I get to show you guys. I think it's going to be a pretty cool figure, so that should be a good thing. Let's do, what do I think you guys want to see next? Let's go ahead and do this one next. This is the Dota 2 Anti-Mage. Is that his name? Yeah, that's his name. Uh, so these guys look really cool. They're very stylized and kind of uh, comic-y. I mean, I know they're not from a comic, but they're very cartoonish, I guess. And that's a cool thing. Uh, the thing is, the guy that sent this opened it up already. He actually didn't like the figure at all once he had it in hand for a, a variety of reasons. So I'll be covering all of those as we do the review. You'll get, you guys will see. If it turns out if it's a good figure or not, you'll know from that. Next one is this. And I don't know what this is specifically. I mean, I can read what it says, obviously. It's the Kitakami Kantai or Kantai Collection. And that's all I know about it. I don't know. I know somebody might have asked me to review this recently, and I said I don't plan to buy it. Uh, but if this is it, then you're in luck. And if this isn't the one you asked me to review, then not so much luck. I don't know. That might be the right thing. Next one is the Virtua Fighter. Uh, what's this guy's name? His name is... I cannot read these Figma packages. It's so faint. Yuki Akira from Virtua Fighter. I believe this is the player one color, if, if memory serves. Never actually played Virtua Fighter. I was too young to be playing in the arcades those when that game came out. But I'm, I'm fairly familiar with it, like in a general sense, but I never actually played it. So this one is the Ninja, another Kenny Kuman figure, which looks really cool. I'm very excited to review this one. You guys know I've liked actually quite a few of the Kenny Kuman figures, so this one I think is going to be one to add to the list. It looks really schnazzy. And to go with this, not directly, but indirectly, we have another ninja. And this is the uh, Ninja Slayer uh, animation version, which is basically just a really stylized-looking, awesome-looking Ninja Slayer figure. So this one, <clears throat> excuse me, this one should be a pretty cool figure. I'm pretty excited about it. Looks like it might be the best of the Ninja Slayer slash not-quite-Ninja Slayer figures that we've gotten from Figma, so that's kind of exciting. We have another Ultra Act figure, which... Looks really cool. I guess this guy's name is Zamsher, which is a very strange name, but this figure is right up my alley. I love the color scheme, the blue and red and yellow, and I love the samurai armor look, and it's just a very appealing figure, so I'm hoping that it is as good as it looks like it's going to be. So that's going to be exciting. Actually, all of these are... He, he picked a good bunch of figures, I have to say. And for you JoJo's fans, 
we have this guy, Killer Queen. I'm guessing it's a guy because it doesn't have the boobages. But his name is Queen, so I don't know. But it's like a cat face on top of a white ninja body. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But it's JoJo's. I don't know why it's in the plastic. Is It, it might be something special. Um, maybe it's just still in the plastic. I don't know. But we're going to be reviewing that. Another JoJo's figure. I know you guys like some JoJo, so that's why he sent these. This guy's name is Guido Mista and Sex Pistols Second. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You, you guys know I haven't started JoJo's yet, and uh, you, these, these characters just crack me up. The names on them. I don't know. I'm guessing those two little red guys that are on there. Is it just the two of them? Maybe there's three or four or five. I don't know if it's the same one in different poses or just different ones. Uh, maybe those are considered the sex pistols. Or maybe the pistols themselves are... I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine if you don't watch JoJo's. But that looks like a pretty cool figure. Next one is another Kenny Kuman figure, which he specifically asked if I wanted to review. And I said, heck yes, because it looks awesome. And it is... Big the Budo, which is a name I'm not... I don't get. I mean, that's a very strange way to phrase that very strange syntax. But it's a cool-looking figure. He's humongous. It's a big fat guy in kind of like a kendo outfit, training gear, fencing type gear. But he's big and fat and unique looking, so I thought that would make for a really fun review. So we're definitely going to be looking at that guy. Very cool. We don't, we're not blocking the camera with the stack yet. We only have two more things, though, so I think we're going to make it. Next up, we have the movie realization, Samurai Spider-Man, which is probably not going to be a good figure for me to review because when I review super popular characters like, say, Deadpool or Spider-Man, and the figures turn out to be not so good, uh, I tend to get a lot of backlash. Like, it's my fault that the figures are no good. But that's okay. It comes with the job, and I don't really care. So we're going to review it, and hopefully it's a cool figure. I don't know. It looks like it might be. So hopefully it is. So we're going to be looking at that. And then the last one is another one you guys are going to like. The movie realization Star Wars Akazona A. I don't know. That's a weird name to me for a, for a Japanese name. I don't know what that is. And I'm not anywhere near fluent in Japanese. But I can't remember ever seeing A and E at the end of a word like that. So that's very weird. Any of you out there who are fluent in Japanese, can you uh, shed a little light on that for me? Anyway, this is the movie realization of the Royal Guard, which looks really cool. It's a... Uh, a red-robed character normally, and this is basically a red-robed samurai version of said character. So that should be a pretty cool figure. So far, I've liked these movie realization figures for the most part, so that should be... Cat hair. Should be a cool figure. That's what I'm hoping. And uh, this is a big pile. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. So, since we're at the end of the video, and it's a fairly long video, not the longest in the world, but it's fairly long, let's do this. For the end thing where I tell you guys what to put in the comments so I know you made it this far and the people that don't make it this far they're like why is everybody saying that it's because you didn't watch the video that's why so what I want you guys to put this time is that's bigger than I thought let's do that it's a bigger pile than I thought it was gonna be that's a lot of stuff he sent a whole bunch of stuff he really trusts me I mean I could take all this stuff and he really couldn't do anything about it but I'm not gonna do that of course let's just People are trusting. I, I guess I guess I've earned it. I don't know. But uh, that's awesome. I really do appreciate that he sends this stuff. And you guys get to see it because of it. And I get to review it because of it. And it makes me want to buy things because of it. And I can't afford it. So in that way, it's bad. But that's the way it goes. All right. That's the end of the video. Let me know what you want to see first. Don't forget to put that in the comment section. Uh, that's bigger than I thought. And let me know what you want to see first. Even though I probably won't do it in that order. Because I'll already have these filmed by the time you see this video. At least some of the reviews. I'll try. So let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.